Okay, so basically, car is ready to go. Um, suspension, steering, change oil and filter. Uh, so the last thing I did, uh, suspension work in terms of the alignment. Needed to do the alignment, the suspension, steering, all that. So it needed alignment after taking it all apart and put together. Uh, basically, you need to set your camber and the toe in on both the front and the rear. So the camber, of course, is the tilting of your wheels. You've all seen those race rockets all sit and squat with the tires way out at the bottom and in the top. That's severe uh, negative camber. Um, the late models, I, I, I can't speak of the, the early models, I'm just not familiar with them. The late models, the camber is negative and positive. You have a little of both. Um, so, you need to know the specs. If we look at the front, that's what happened to be standing beside, the camber is one at this point, the dork starts talking about percentage. It is degrees, I understand. Degrees. So basically, plus a half to plus 1.5. That's the camber on the front. On the rear, you're from zero to minus one. Toe-in, toe-in is, instead of talking up and down, front to back. Are the tires straight? Are the tires towed in? Which means the front of the tires are towed in or out, towed out. So we want, in both fronts and rears, we want on the Corvair, we want slight toe in. And, I'm, and I suggest, if you're doing it, don't use quarter inches, half inches, eighth inches, Switch everything to a sixteenth of an inch. Sixteenth of an inch is probably as close as you're going to be able to measure it with a tape measure. And it's easier if all your measurements you use, you read them off your tape in sixteenths, you compare them. So the toe in on the Corvair is from four sixteenths to six sixteenths. Not very much. We're only talking. Two sixteenths of an inch, so an eighth of an inch. <laughs> there you go again. I'm starting to change. Sixteenth, so four sixteenths to six sixteenths. In other words, you're looking for five sixteenths of an inch toe in. So the difference between the back of the tires and the difference between the front of the tires, that should be measurement should be five sixteenths of an inch difference. Okay. Now, camber. Back to the camber. This is what I use for camber. Just a regular level, and in fact, I was going trying to use the level, but basically gave up on that. It just wasn't going to work out. Um, it's okay to get to the level, but the problem is, as soon as it's out of level, you have no idea whether you're talking a half a degree or ten degrees. You have no idea. All you know is when it gets level, it's zero. That's about all you know with the level. So what I end up using, my buddy had. A digital level it, it, it's okay it only reads basically to the closest point two of, of a degree a little finer one would be nicer but we may do with that basically it's good enough for what you're doing um, the key thing is to be able to mount this type of de device onto something that you can hang off your tire off your wheel and it's completely level so on the tire on the wheel do not use the tire itself you want to use the actual wheels so I cut this piece of wood exactly would fit between the smooth part of the wheel I took the hubs off and then held it in place with a bungee cord. And then I took the level and I taped it on. So then we can 
then do our measurement, and that all works really fine. Toe in, I made up two boards. This board, the only difference between the two boards, slightly bigger slot to be able to put the end of the tape, put the end of the tape in. So, because the rivets, they need a little wider to get in there. And then tape's gonna come to the other end. And you're gonna be able to read the number on the tape. Put that in front of the wheel. And then I put a heavy weight, I used the battery, just to hold it there, nice and firm, so it didn't move. And just don't do this, just go center. Just center it so you've got the same cap on either side of the tire here. And then push that battery up there, hold it. And now, with that on the other side, tape measure stretched across, we can measure the towing. As a backup after I'm done, the last stick, I'm going to go across the tires to the same ridge, uh, uh, same ridge on the left tire and the right tire and measure it on the front and on the back and compare the measurements. So your tires, your treads, the gaps where the, the, the tape measure is going to drop into, make sure, depending on the, on the cut of your tires, if you've got ones that are cut like this, it's going to be tougher. Mine are straight cut, dead easy. Hook it on, you know, the, Last groove over there, measure it to the last groove on the other groove on the other side. Okay, so that's about what we're gonna do, and uh, it's not hard, hard, it's time consuming. Crawl underneath the car. Um, you gotta use your wrenches and you gotta loosen things up and um, tighten things up and move things around. Um, with a hoist, I had it up and down and up and down and up and down, I don't know how many times. Um, so, yeah, not an easy job, not a difficult job, it's just another job. <laughs> Enjoy. Okay, so let's look at the front camber first. So what we're looking for is one degree plus or minus a half. So between one half and one and a half positive camber. Okay, so this is the setup using the digital angle block. Uh, block. Um, you can see that right now with the wheel off the ground, it's reading zero. We, okay, so now uh, Paul's going to lower the car down. We'll put the weight on it. Okay, so we're at 0.6 now. Yeah. So that's that's within spec. Yeah. Uh, if you want, yeah. To adjust the camber on the front, if you are going to attempt this, this is under the passenger side. You go underneath, underneath, right up there. That bolt there, that guy right there, that is the lock nut for the eccentric that adjusts the camber. Okay, so now going under the front of the car tie rod tie rod and under the, where the spring is that bolt right there is your eccentric and when and that big washer is welded onto that nut so when you turn that bolt I say nut but it's a bolt when you turn that bolt that washer is going to rotate and it's going to push this arm in and out pushing that arm in and out is going to adjust the camber okay so here we are set up on the um, driver's side left hand front and right now we are reading zero but we're looking for one degree positive plus or minus a half so bring that up ready to go yep. oh, okay. okay so we're now reading 1.4 okay. negative camber so the difference is between between being on the ground and up above is 1.4 we were at zero and we want to go positive one degree 
So what we need to do here is now bring this to, from 1.4. We want to go from zero to plus one. In other words, we want to add a degree. So if we want to add a degree of camber on there, that basically is going to take it from minus 1.4 to point minus 0.4, yeah. if that's understanding. So basically, we're going to give it some positive camber by bringing the um, bringing the bottom of the uh, the adjustment into the car, and that'll give us positive camber. So I'm going to go and tweak that, and Paul's going to read the numbers, and when it gets to 0.4, we're good to go. Okay, Paul. Down. Start lower down. So we're reading at uh, about 0 0.3, 0 0.5 negative camber at the moment. And we'll lower it down, put the pressure back on. And there we go. We're now at 0.6 okay. positive camber, which is exactly the same as the other side. Yeah. So, job done. So, at the introduction, I mentioned that the camber was positive and negative. Well, as you can see from the specs, the front is a positive camber and the rear is a negative camber there you go okay just a re little reset here just want to put the battery there to hold the board nice and stiff so i am at 67 and 6 16 67 and 6 16 and this side, I'm at 67 and 4 sixteenths. So in fact, I have toe out by an eighth of an inch. A quick look at the specs show us that for the rear toe in, we are looking at between 2 and 6 sixteenths. So 4 would be nice, but... The spec is two to six. Okay, so the final measurement on the uh, the rear uh, toe in, we've got sixty seven and a quarter, or sixty seven and four sixteenths. And on the back, we have sixty seven and seven. Sixteenths. So there you go. Three sixteenths of uh, toe in. And that is within spec. Okay, there's the toe in alignment boards. Uh, that's just the two, two cut out wooden boards and uh, two tape measures. Um, toe in is adjusted by the front of the torque arm. So I had this set, there's a, let's see if we can get in here and look at it. There's a, um, a bit of a scale and you can see that it, I'm about one and a half uh, to the outside. When I started, I was just uh, about a half towards the outside. So I've moved each plate about one notch uh inwards and by moving this arm of course inwards this way that puts toe in uh because my shoulder here is the wheel and yeah you turn that yeah i'm towing it in so that's the other thing you had to do is you, the uh the front strut on these brackets just give that a quick loosen those off um, loosen those, adjust your arms, tighten it all back up again and measure it again and, <laughs> and repeat. Um, did it a couple times and, uh, seemed to have gotten it. So that's, that's, that's cool. Okay, dog. I think I'm going to just torque up those bolts now and, uh, 
all I have left is toe in on the front. Okay, so there's the measurement of the front of the rear tires. So 54, I'm using the inside groove this time, 54 and 4 sixteenths. Okay, so here's the, okay. So here's the rear of the rear tire. <laughs> um, 54 and 9 sixteenths. Okay, so toe in is obviously fairly easy on a front end suspension. It's just a matter of uh, I need to bring the the front in so that means i need to shorten up this bar so basically turn this one or that's a right thread and that's left there whatever tighten it with the bars let's go okay so here we are back at the front i've taken it out for a test drive did a few cl a few clicks on it. it seemed to handle pretty good uh let's do a final check on here see what we're at so we're at uh, 65, and the important thing is we are at 14. On the back and on the front, we are 12. So right now I have 2 sixteenths or 1 eighth inch of toe in. Let's just check the specs. Okay, so regarding the toe-in, the specs are on the front between 4 sixteenths and 6 sixteenths. So we're looking for basically 5 sixteenths of an inch toe-in on the front. Okay, so as a quick check on the toe-in, I measure across the same tread front and back. It really doesn't matter which one you pick. Pick one, you can catch the tape measure on that <laughs> works for me and if we look I'm going to go with the uh the first groove so that is 58 forget that let's count how many sixteenths it is one two three four five so that is five sixteenths let's check the back of the tire okay so now we're measuring the back of the tire And what are we at the back? Let's see if we can get the camera straight out from the tape measure. So we are eight, nine, we are 11. So 11 on the back, five on the front, 11 minus five is six. That is within spec. The spec was four to six. We are in spec. Perfect.